I thought about my own experiences and about things my friends are going through and uh, things the writers brought up in the room. And yeah, I mean, it, when you're in your 30s, people really start to split off in like drastically different directions. Like suddenly your friend has like a bunch of kids and they own their own home and a husband and they seem like super stable, but inside they're still like, do I want this? I don't know. Am I doing the right thing? And then... Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, like, I still feel like a big sloppy baby, but I'm sure I look like I have my shit together on the outside. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It just <laughs> feels very much that decade to me. I really did, I did think that you were a Tuca at first, but then you auditioned and you were so perfect as Birdie. I'm like, you're a fearless person. How do you the, act? I suffer from crushing anxiety, you know, <laughs> like you everybody do? else. Oh, my God, so. you hide it well. You're fearless. I am. Um, I try. I started but, making yeah. comics about Tuca maybe four years ago, and then I started making comics about Birdie a little bit later, and then when I was thinking of TV show ideas, they just seemed like two of my favorite characters I'd ever made up. Like, they basically just write themselves. I know exactly who they are. So when you decided you needed a bird, Birdie to the Tuca... Why was that? What did you want to bring into with Birdie? I just really wanted to make a show about female friendship, and I just thought the two of them would go well together. And they're kind of opposites, but like Birdie has Tuka qualities, Tuka has Birdie qualities, and you can kind of see like why they've been friends for so long.